pile of these cracks here and in this video I will show you this amazing 75mm build whoop which can take 2S LiPo and is pretty lightweight, it weighs only 24 grams with 2S LiPo it have plenty of power and it's also pretty agile. So the main idea for this drone was just to use my old BT 2.0 small 1S whoop batteries that, that are not as good to, to use them in my regular 65mm whoop so I just thought that I can build some kind of drone that can fly for pretty long and also will have a lot of power on 2S because on 2S you can achieve same power with a lot less amps so this is also pretty nice for used up lipos and you will receive extra punch the components that I used on this build so frame is extremely cheap, this is Beta 75 Pro 2 frame and it costs only $2 on official Beta FPV store. All in one board, this is the Beta FPV 2022 and can take 2S. So this all in one board is really not expensive compared to Happy Model 1s, but it doesn't have a VTX. So the VTX is of course the lightest VTX that you can possibly buy which is OVX 300 from Happy Model. So combined with this normal regular antenna, not a copper wire, I have really nice feet for my goggles and I don't have any problems with range whatsoever. So I can fly even with 100 milliwatts and I don't have any problems. The motors that I use, they are regular Beta FPV 0802 motors with 14,000 kV with the ball bearings. So this version is pretty nice because on 2S we have a lot more RPMs and these motors will be a lot more durable. Of course you have only one millimeter shaft on these motors, but for me this is not a problem because you can swap these shafts pretty easily if you bend them. Personally I was ripping the squad and flying it pretty fast. It took a couple hard punches and I don't have any shaft bends already because you have these ducts they are pretty stiff and can well protect your motor. The camera that I use, this is Rankin Nano 3. The props on this whoop are really important because I'm running by blades from Genfan. They are 40mm props. I have also tri-blade props and on tri-blades is really not as efficient as on these by blades also it's handling a lot better because we don't have such a big and heavy motor. This is pretty lightweight build. So these by blades are just perfect for this build, it's really nimble after pit tuning and also you have a lot of flight time. So maybe I show you the flight time on these two 380 mAh GNB LiPo's and we'll see how long we can fly it. So during my cone test flight I was able to get 8 minutes out of this whoop so this is really amazing flight time for such a small drone and also if you are flying a little bit faster outside or doing some racing or freestyle you can safely get 5 to 6 minutes with no problems whatsoever. pretty fast yeah I can do a little bit more of this freestyle then I will get something around 5 minutes
So we are back again after some flights. So this drone is really agile, really lightweight. Literally on the sticks, I was feeling that this drone is really, really light. So even when I was performing split death down the trees, I needed to wait a little bit because this drone was so light. So of course, that's the reason why we are getting such a nice flight times. Also, I noticed that it has some prop wash because I had a little bit of wind outside. But I think that I could pit tune it further just to deal with the wind a little bit better. Of course, this drone is in really lightweight class and it can really rip. Also, you can do freestyle with this thing with no problem. And the huge benefit that you have 2S voltage that you don't have such a big sag. So when I was flying freestyle outside, I was able to to have something around 5 to 6 minutes of flight time which is still the double the time that I flew on my 65mm even when on my 5 inch drone because on the Apex 5 inch drone the flight time was around 2 to 3 minutes when I was pushing this thing hard but when I push hard the small guy I can get even 4 to 4.5 four minutes of flight time with really hard flying so this is pretty nice so that's everything for this video, you can of course leave a comment, how do you think about this build, if you would want to me to create a tutorial video how to build this drone, so I can do it with no problem, and all the links for the old parts are just down in the description, and if you have any questions feel free to write down below in the comment section, so for now, bye bye and stay creative!